And we're live in three, two. All right. All right, we're live. I got to work. And I think, yep, I put it as an image, so you're not going to see my desktop. I think I, right. I figured out how to do it, so I'm going to have a look at the uh, at the watch page here. This All is right. going to be a really quick session. And let me plug it in it's to YouTube, and we're live. Right. Welcome to another riveting hour of the oh boy it's time for another iclone streaming session i guess <laughs> desktop yep i think I, right. I figured out how to do it yep and my image shows up perfect 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 all right all right now someone mentioned all right well let's see show time show time everybody <laughs> Welcome to the iClone Film School. My name is Benjamin Tuttle. And today's guest is Jester285. He was in the last show. Hey. Now, this thing's kind of a last minute thing because um, I got an email. I got several emails about this about set design and dressing. And someone wanted one of my props. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't. I can't really allow it, to be honest. Um, I can't give props that I don't own away. Yep. I can't. It's it's just something. I can't. And this applies for anything like someone wanted a scene. I can't because would, it would contain Reillusion assets. And that wouldn't work for them. Plus, mm. it's also like purchase Reillusion content as well. So you can't rip it off. It would it would constitute a stealing, I think. So I can't exactly allow it. Um, but uh, kind of a personal story. Yeah. Remember, uh, when I first got iClone 4, I did not get 3D Exchange. And I was a student, so I didn't have a lot of money. And get, so, what does that tell you? I had to work on a very, very limited thing. Oh, uh, yeah. And I understand that. I mean, it's my iPhone is incredibly expensive. Oh, uh, yeah. In fact, let me uh, go to the Reillusion page and show you how much uh, certain content costs. And let me share my screen as well. Content. <laughs> <laughs> Content. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go to the marketplace. They just release release something, and let me. Uh, oh yeah, stylized. All right. Let me turn off the overlay here and show you. Basically, it's ninety nine dollars. Oh yeah. For a bunch of morph and sliders and such. I. <sighs> What can he do? Right. Wait, is there a... Oh, wait, I know about this. I have it already. But a lot of the content is like $100. Um, and uh, we're looking at the... Uh, I'm. Well, let's just look at the big combos. Stuff like this. You know, material, motion, scenes. You're looking at at least... Uh, Warlord has something about fifty dollars. There's stuff that's one hundred and sixty, one hundred and fifty dollars for all this. Yep. And you know, I was a student, and that was incredibly expensive, and I couldn't afford all this. I get it in sales because sometimes they release all these things for like forty or fifty bucks, but you have to be yeah. on the lookout for it. And if you're starting out with iClone under a budget, what can you do, honestly? <laughs> Exactly. You know, especially characters. You know, cr characters is a crucial thing here. And you guys can easily get this somewhere. I think, I think this thing's really outdated. But I'm looking here, and somebody mentioned uh, game rips and all that. I'll, I'll cover this in full detail later on. But um, I think I... Did I post something? Okay, I post Showtime. Perfect. All right. Now, one of the most uh, challenging things, obviously, is... You know, where do you begin? Now, the first thing I strongly recommend anybody getting is 3D Exchange. If yep. you're going to get iClone, get 3D Exchange. And it's uh, here. I always go to Character Creator. I always click on this little icon here. That'll take me to the Character Creator. And what 3D Exchange is, is basically it'll import any 3D model into it. So, 
if you're really if you're commercial if you're I mean if you're looking for non-commercial work you're doing this for fun as a hobbyist yep then I re strongly hang on I'm clicking on the other one then I strongly recommend um, there are various sites that cover this someone mentioned uh, and I, I've heard about this Xana Xana Laura which is basically video game rips Oh. They take content and they rip it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Yep. it. It will pretty much rip your system and then put it into like in, into a Blender program or something like that, which you can rip it off and take content and all that. That's fine yep. if it's non-commercial. It's it's illegal to be honest with you. This is yep. a violation of copyright. It's not the material here. But if you're doing this for non-commercial, I think you should. You're in this. You, you're kind of treading dangerous waters, but it shouldn't be anything serious or anything like that. Right. Now, if you're trying to make a profit, or doing anything that require that makes a profit, that's when you're in danger. That's when yep. you can get sued. That's when you break. Fuck. That's when you get in real trouble here. In yeah. fact, you know, I I do video game reps. I need. I do, but I don't release them because, frankly, it's not my content. I, anything I do not own, I don't release it. I don't release it in the marketplace. It is, it's immoral. Yeah. I, for a freebie or something like that, you know, I only freebies things I do if it doesn't take me long or anything like that. But I just, if it's something I did not create entirely, I'm not going to release it. Yeah. It's. And I do video game reps. I mean, I did it for Left 4 Dead. I oh, did yeah. it for Borderlands. I did it for Fallout New Vegas, which I put the entire strip into the game, into the <laughs> iClone. I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to do this. I won't. Reason why? Eh. Just not my thing, to be honest. Somebody yeah. else can if they have the time and patience, but I can do stuff like this. Oh, yeah. But today we're going to be doing set dressing. So if you want, you can go into sites like XM. If you're not looking for a profit and this is merely a hobby, a site like this would be fine. Yep. It's affordable, but truth is, it's not their content. It's It yep. belongs to the publisher or developer of the video game. Now, here's another site I recommend, but you got to keep... It's called TurboSquid. Yep. Turbo Squid is mostly for 3D modeling. A lot of professionals use this pro site to get models. So what's just, uh, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. So we go with uh, a television, but you can also get free stuff if you look at the lower prices. See, free. So let's just take, uh, and it's a royalty free license. Mm -hmm. That's useful very very useful so a site like turbo squid would be useful 3d warehouse used to be a used to belong to Google but under they switch under Trimble so Trimble huh. owns 3d warehouse they yep. changed their U E U uh, their EULA <laughs> they changed it you have to listen because they say this is for not basically if you this is I'm gonna do a too long don't read session this is for non-commercial use only. Yeah. Non-commercial. Anything used? You can't you can't use it in a commercial setting. Right. It's nice. It's great for background, especially a lot of a lot of detailed buildings in the background. This is great if you're doing non-commercial, but if you are using commercial, then look for something with a royalty free license. I know Turbo Squid had something with Ford recently. Yep. So let me have a look here. And I know this is really expensive. So let's look at a 2000 G Ford Mustang GT. Now you, there's a certain license with Ford. Film and TV. And you can read this. And this is kind of a there's it's like a partnership. Yep. So it's a weird partnership. It's worth a read. Site. 
So basically, trademark. It owns all the title and everything. Yep. <clears throat> so as long as you fall within what they want to say, that's what happens. It's kind of a really weird story here. But I think I read it. I had a glance through it, but as long as it's um, if uh, you the it has to Ford has to be used in a positive light. Right. So you can't have any like um, you can't have two people fuck on top of a Ford vehicle or, anything, <laughs> or you know someone pissing on a Ford car or anything like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that that's a no no. And Chrysler did the same thing with the movies game. When Chrysler had their vehicles, you know how originally the vehicles weren't supposed to blow up if it was a Chrysler? Right. Someone got around it, and it's actually a very simple I and I fix. That's the same reason. They wanted to portray their vehicles in a positive light. So look, I know the Real Illusion Forums also has a... Uh, they have a royalty-free license, if I remember. I have to look at the... I have to look at the, They changed the ULA settings. Or not, but always keep an eye out. Just make sure, make sure, make sure you yep. read the licenses, and especially if you're going for a commercial product, or if your project, like if you're on a YouTube thing and it makes money, or if it's on television and it makes money, you got to be very careful. Right. It's understandable. Now, if here comes the best part. Also, there's one else, the other site too I check called Aluminium. It's like a, it's exactly like XNA Laura or something like that. Uh, they rip off certain things. They do like rips or something like that, or they find models, and you uh, can use them as vehicles. All right. Gotta be careful. But that's another thing. I don't think they retain the license or anything like that, since I know it's a couple of their car models came from Need for Speed. Hmm. Now, here comes the problem. You don't have 3D exchange. Right. What do you do? Exactly. Because it's an expensive program. It is. It was very, very pricey. And I didn't update it every year. I had, I, even when I went into iClone 6, 6, I had 3D exchange 4. I did not update it for at least a couple of years. Just that I don't have. I finally settled in after six. After um, oh, the reason why is it kind of stalled a lot, and I realized, hey, more polygons. Okay, I can shove an entire thing in here. Yep. So, what do you do? Hmm. Now, as you can tell, I have a lot of weird stuff in here. Oh uh, yeah. So. First thing first, um, what I'm going to be releasing is somebody asked about uh, set design, especially buildings. And today I went ahead and created a basic set. This will be released for free. And also I want to give this out as well to anybody who's curious or wondering. If you see my stuff on the marketplace, now I cannot legally... Uh, you know, I can't do this for legal reasons. You know, I'll give you stuff that I don't own away. But if you want anything from my marketplace here, which I'll let me get the website out here. If you see anything from my name under the marketplace, like uh, go to my store here. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Yep. If you see anything like, uh, let's use an example. So this revolution starts opening up, and I get another update from Steam. Anything like, oh, you see the random pack, or fairground rides, or a stove, yep. and if, or the bakery set, or anything like that, and you don't have the funds or anything, just feel free to shoot me an email. Send me a link to whatever whatever you want here and I'll do I'll send it to you for free. Alright. That's it. I I honestly 
this is kind of a, an opinion thing for me, but I don't care about making money on here. If this thing was just used to cover some basic stuff long ago, so this is not really much of a necessity for me, but it's more of a, okay, I got 500 points, I can spend it on whatever I need. I, I'm not here to make money, I'm not here on this marketplace to make money, I'm just using it to cover some expenses. Because I was that I was a broke college student. I still am, but you know, I was doing this to cover some fun. So if you need anything from my store, feel free to send me an email and I'll send you a link. As long as you don't share it to everybody else. Yeah. That's really all I gotta say. On this matter, just you know, I don't really care about making money. But and this will be released pretty shortly as well. So what's this prop here? Um, let me show you. It's called CS3. I call it cheap set. So so we're gonna take this wall here, and this thing is in increments of 300. So pay attention to the grid. Yep. The reason why this is like a mini school thing. So you can make your own building prop. So here by 300. All right. So this will be by Y. It will go X Y Z format, which you should pay attention. Obviously, if you follow the grid system, you should. It goes by exact 300. I'll be giving this away pretty sure, like maybe later on tonight. I want to add a few things here <coughs> and here. It's just I understand with the no money thing. I know a lot of stuff I see is too much for its own good overpriced is probably the best term yeah. and that's not fair honestly and and I've, I had a lot of resentment as well I kind of saw a lot of stuff as rip offs but so here it is basically uh, you can build your own set design doors I have a uh, corner piece here here I'm gonna put this up here as zero and zero and then raise it up by 300. So stuff like this. All right. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty affordable. It's going to be a low price of zero dollars and zero cents. Yeah. 300. This is pretty much used here, and then you can. There's a corner here, so you can build your own buildings. Yep. Yeah. And here. I'll be right back. All right. So 300. I'm gonna make a basic building out of this. Here, here, and here. So let's see. I'm just gonna kind of build a little building here. Nothing too fancy. Zero. There we go. So <clears throat> as I said this is a very, very, very basic building set. However, with the right set dressing and design, you can do quite a lot with it. Here you are. I might I might add a few more things after this, but it's up to, it's up to interpretation. Right here, four hundred and fifty. Four fifty. Ninety. Finally. Just kind of using a basic grid system here. 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 And here. So 
so. All right. I'm back. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Now you see the building idea? Yep. This is what I was working on this morning. Hmm. And I realized, you know, it's not that bad, you know. It didn't take long. It takes like five minutes for me to make these props. Yep. So, 450. And finally. Yeah. And also, I mentioned because also Turbo Squid has textures as well. Yeah. So, you kind of go by increments of 300 and you're good to go. <laughs> or you can rescale them as long as you do the math. Yep. To figure out which the system goes, you have to use some multiplication and division, but it's not like a big issue. And then, let me just put the corner piece in. I included a little corner. I might do it for paths as well, just in case if anyone wants to make a sidewalk. All right. I'll, re I'll release that maybe in the future. I mean, it's not that bad. If Zero. Shoot. Ooh, this is going to take some math. <laughs> Put it as five or six. And you just kind of have to guess it. 455 under 300. What? What the heck? Oh, that's the reason why. <laughs> I have to, um... Three, four, five. Yeah, and you just kind of wing it here. All right. And done. And next, uh, since you can group them all together, you can make this into one giant group. Once you're done, and you can attach. And finally, Raise it again <laughs> to 600. Nice. Then raise it again. <laughs> to and nine. again and again and again. As many times as you want. Now, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, yeah. You can, with a little more set dressing, I might add a little stones here. You can actually make some convincing buildings. And now here comes the part uh, how do I texture this thing? Yeah. Well, like I said, mention a site like Turbo Squid, so I'm pulling up Turbo Squid. They have free textures. So let's look for something like brick. And then you click on this little guy. And then you look at product types, texture maps. Let's look for something seamless. I have it mapped so you can pick something like for free. So let's look up lower prices. Alright. And you look and you look and then you, you find whatever you want and make sure if it's seamless and then if it's tileable, yes, royalty free. And then you download it, which I have some more thing else. So let's go up to the blender thing. Let's go up to textures. And then I have a random brick one here, so well you know what? Uh, that thing's too high. Probably. Um, let's go with Brick 2. This thing is a free one, I think. Now, you can, so you can tell, you may have to fix it up just a bit. So, you do this. Yeah. It's just a little bit of tinkering around. And you can build to your heart's content. And then what I usually do is, obviously, you fix the tiling. So, you go by 2 by 2. There we go. All right. And then you repeat over and over and over again, and then <laughs> and then you have your building. And then obviously for doors and windows, I think uh, don't they have something for doors and windows here? I uh, props maybe. I props have some maybe windows. Yep. Uh, windows you may have to go into the marketplace, but. I think they have some variation for like a dollar. So for maybe under ten dollars you can actually completely set dress. Or you can go on three D exchange or 
Freaking yeah. Or you can download the trail of 3D Exchange and then get all the what you need and put it in for about 15, yep. for about 15 <laughs> props. Yeah. But this is that's a, uh, a major thing. That's uh, up to your discretion. So like doors, we can just shove maybe like one of these doors, maybe, I don't know, something like this. And unless the cat's getting mad. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Luna's trying to play with one of the cats again. Yeah, when dogs never learn, do they? <laughs> yeah, right. Yep, dog is getting angsty. Yep. Luna, you're going to get clawed if you keep playing with them like that. There we go. And something like this. So you get one of those cheap little doors for like a dollar, and then another cheap window for a dollar. Yep. Probably less. They usually have tons of sales. Or something like this, and then you flip it around here, and then you kind of fix up here. I'm just kind of going by a rough and dirty version of this. Yep. But, you know, it hopefully makes sense here. I'm full. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to make a good product. Right. You don't. You, you can easily make one for pretty cheap. You can make it in peanuts, too. Yeah. Like, the old days, I used to make stuff up like le that cost less than a sandwich from Subway. Huh. So you slap the, slap the brick texture in, and then you may have to UV map it properly to get it working. Or you can hide that and just adjust the window to whatever you want. And then you follow the same way. Make sure everything's tiled right and tiled the same. Otherwise, it looks really goofy. It's And this brick texture, I think, is free as well from TurboSquid. Mm. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Right here. Yep, and it seems perfectly. Just like that. It's here, here, and here. So you can put it in. This is what I did for Synergy as well. Let me see if I can find it. Well, yeah, I got Kara's lines last night. Though. Oh, yep. Pretty good. So that made me happy. <laughs> Finally got something in. Yeah, I know the feeling. It's like, let's see. I think this is the opening scene. No. Yeah. Pretty soon, this is something a different model, but the same approach. I found, I found little planes that Reillusion had. Oh yeah. There. So this is what I did. Oh wow. Same idea, same principle, just cheap, assembled yep. quickly together. Use the texture map. Here, obviously, all this stuff came from their little pack. But you can actually make a really convincing thing. It's just it takes some time and some patience, but you'll get yep. it. And I'll, I'll include the little pack for free. All right. So anybody can play around with it. You can also use the uh, the 3D. You can actually use the 3D block. They have something oh, yeah. for walls and floors here, so you can actually uh, use the same idea and same method here. What I did. So you do here, and then you could put brick, put bricks on it, and then stack it. But it looks, but I realized it's kind of difficult, and it's kind of tedious to do it. Yeah. So and not only that, but you have to, I have to figure out what the exact measurements are, and it's kind of like it, it places it at a decimal. So I'm like, screw this, I'll make my own. Yeah. So I'll release that. The marketplace, like I said, I used it before to. I've released props to make money so I can pay for little things. Oh, yeah. But I strongly recommend 3D Exchange. But not only that, I need to tell you all, we're going to go back in time. Oh, yeah. I have here, my I have found a picture of my first Blender model. And everybody, I notice a lot of people say, I can't, I don't know how to model. I can't learn it. <laughs> well, it's time to go on a field trip. Blender field trip. Yeah. This is my first model. Oh yeah. Push the button. It's a gravestone. Oh. <laughs> the, it looks pretty crappy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but that was my first ever model in Blender. I, I had no idea what to do. 
And I don't know when when that. It, apparently, it was on a Saturday. I know that much, but I don't remember. I think it was I was on a Vista laptop. Oh yeah. It takes time, and I the story was that this was the movies program, and the movies program. Um, I was working on Western, and all the other modders were busy. So I decided to go learn. So I built, this was my second thing. Hmm. It's like, it's just working with shapes. As you can tell, it's not too bad. There's yeah. a lot of UV mapping. This could be a lot better. This could be a lot better. But then it takes time. And it's something you shouldn't jump into right away. Right. But over time, you will get better. So I went from this little stick of butter, <laughs> and then eventually I built this building here, yeah. which led to the gallows here. One thing after another, I tried to be ambitious. This was my first roller coaster. Hmm. I'll show you what happened. Let me show you the other, the new roller coaster. Barracuda. Where is it? Barracuda. I think it's called V2. Uh, here it is. Here's the new Barracuda. Oh, yeah. A lot of improvement. It takes time. There's no rushing it. And what I believe is people, people have a different way of learning it. There's a learning curve with Blender, obviously. Yep. But when you take, but just kind of, you have to sit yourself down and realize, okay, this is how you do it. And the improvement will flow. You just got to put yourself into a mindset. Remember when we were building that circle, sur uh, surgical tray, that was difficult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was it. That was how I looked at Blender first time. I went from that to here. So that old roller coaster and compare it is completely different, obviously. And then I built a rocket. And then other things. It takes time. Yep. And I built the World Trade Center. Oh, yeah. and it's in it's in my production. It's in my project somewhere. It's in, it'll be you'll probably see it in future projects. Oh yeah. But that's it with with the set dressing. If you want to make it as cheap as you can, make it yourself. Oh yeah. Literally, it's. It, I know it's painful, and I know how tedious and annoying it can get. But if and I was on a budget too, I'm I'm still on a budget. That's the reason why I don't buy it willy nilly. Yeah. It's tough. I know, but if there's so many free assets as well, there's also video game rips, which I do. But if you want your work and to kind of expand to a larger market, you know, commercialize without fear of copyright takedowns then you should go for original serial. That's why I don't do video game rips. I, uh, the only time I'm doing it is, well, it's Fog and Silver Bank, but that's on a completely different channel. And it has its own purpose why I did that. Because it's an old TMO movie. So I make it like a TMO movie. Yep. But that's the thing. And uh, if you want to work, I know. Let's see what iClone does with the defaults. I want to, sh I want to make sure. I don't remember what it comes with, to be honest. Hmm. I don't remember what free props it comes with. All this stuff I probably gathered all the years or found or purchased. Oh, uh, yeah. Or figured out. Or... I know yeah. they always have that Black Friday sale. And there's a ton of folders, which leads to another ton of folders. I have made more props than you could possibly shake a stick at. I have. A lot of it's unreleased. I don't know why. But, a lot. oh yeah, a lot of it's cars that have ripped and changed and fixed and textured. Oh yeah, I made an Ikea furniture set. <laughs> Anyone's interested. But, you know... That's that's one of the biggest uh, modes of advice I have for, for someone who's on a budget and starting out. Start creating it yourself. 
it, and it's scary. I know T Blender is a scary, scary monster. It is. It has a high learning curve, and there's a lot of frustration. But you'll pretty much be amazed by how much improvements you guys make. You would make out of it. I went from that little stick of butter to what you saw on the roller coaster. Let's yep. see if there's any other Blender projects here that I'm working on. Um, in iPhone six. Oh, Bank Vault, where I made the kitty coaster. I made Steve's Pizzeria thing in one day. And I made, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I made this as well, which is animated. Cool. So, I mean, it just takes some time to learn. Yeah. But uh, if you want to do like simple stuff, I'll release the pack, which uh, you can make little texture sets like this. Remember, no piece at all had a budget like 40 bucks. Oh, huh, yeah. And that was mostly just because of clothing. All the props that I put pretty much made myself. Where I got them from, and I sent it to somebody through 3D Exchange. I didn't even get 3D Exchange until like, I think my second year of iPhone. Yeah. Right before they released 5, I did not get that until then. And then uh -huh. that was like two or three years. <laughs> Just, or it was like at least one or two years. Oh yeah, you can use that here. Or you can use roofs on that. I just... It's really... Well, I gotta really say... It's... Hello! Hey, Pop-Tart. Uh, hey. We're matching an eye clone. Oh, cool. Oh! Wait, where... Oh, that's right! I bought the ghost set from uh, uh. Sally Gone. <laughs> now, what are you doing? I'm working on the... Uh, we're doing the live stream right now. Oh, cool. Hey! hey. But the... We're just mentioning how to make cheap buy clone sets. Oh, nice. So let's just build the set. Here, so let's use a... Uh, I don't know what they do with trees. I don't know what the iClone tree set is like. Uh, let me have a look. I bought the whole pack on the first day. Oh. Uh, okay, so they have... You know, that's not really a bad uh, setup. They have an Alaska Cedar, Azaleas, and American Boxwoods. Actually, that's pretty cool. That's actually not too bad. Mm. They have a Norway spruce. Yeah, you can make some really convincing sets out of these. It just uh, it's been so long. I don't remember what the iClone default prop set is. But uh, you can use uh, build. I think okay, that's billboard. I don't remember which one's the default, uh, default for iClone or not, so I can't remember how to make a oh. set. I have all these. Oh, man. This is years of collection. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> hoarder. Then at, t at 10 tonight, you'll find out that Ben hoards iClone stuff. Yep, a ton of stuff. Like Star Wars. This oh, thing, yeah. this little guy here, I found online. Tie fighter. Yep. If I really wanted to make a Star Wars movie, I can. Oh man. Or this little guy. I want to see if this thing. That goes. would be so cool, Ben. Oh, this little guy. This thing is about. Holy crap! This thing's at least a million, a couple of million, about one point five wow. million faces. Dang. Yeah, this could be easily. I don't know. I don't remember where I found it, but you can. I know is that the uh, it's not Turbo Squid. It's some three D sci fi site I found. That's if you want to make non profit. I mentioned uh, commercial and non commercial products. Yeah. Like video game rips are uh, well, they're also they're illegal. You can't rip them. But you can if you use it in non commercial, you should be. It's like taking a risk, but it's not. Good. You you should be fine, right? Um, if they don't find you, if you're not yes. making a profit. Ah, uh, what are exactly. you doing with their stuff? If you're not making a profit, yes. like obviously Silverbank won't be won't be on my main channel. Yeah. Obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, it, there's a lot of weird props here. I can't remember which one's mine. Oh, the Metropolitan Pack is from Video Copilot. Oh. Oh, they have also have t textures as well. Free textures. So you can actually plop the uh, 
the real illusion ones as, as well. So you can throw this little guy in. Nice. This isn't too bad. You can actually. Yeah, let's mention this. What is that? What is that? Basically, what you guys can do is you can save the material. And then you can use it to uh, place it into your into your props. So, oh, yeah? Like a window here. Oh, you can actually fit, make the window like this because the oh, window nice. is mapped <laughs> just like this. So you can actually you can actually make a little plane here. Hey, you don't even have to buy a window. You can actually use this. And you can take it apart? Yep. Well, oh, wow. you can actually save it. Save the material through that. Yeah. And then put it into and then put it into that prop. Oh wow. Which I'll do. I'm doing I'm gonna show you. So uh let's take um what could be good here? Let's take some concrete. Concrete. So concrete is in a little ball here, so we're gonna save that. Concrete. Okay. And we're going to uh Put it into Blender here. Alright. I mean, not Blender, sorry. I'm going to take what I made huh. in Blender. Puppy. Puppy yep. wants to go out. <laughs> there we go. And then you can just slap. Is that the concrete? Yeah. Nope, that's a cornice piece I made. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's. I'm going to release that for free. Oh, alright. All right. So you can take the concrete and put it in here. Oh wow! So you, you yeah. can you can add you can like mix stuff together. Yep. That's cool. So maybe four by point five. <coughs> four by four by four five here, and we don't need this bump map, but something like this. Oh yeah. And there you go. <laughs> That's cool. And or you know you can go into Turbo Squid as well and get the yep. free prop. But this is just for convenience or if you want to look at ooh metal. Ah. Oh. Okay, this is cool. All right, all right. Hmm. Or marble. Ooh, shiny. Or marble. Shiny. Ooh, or, shiny. Or cloth like a basket. Ah, oh. uh, yeah. Or tile. Same yeah. idea. Oh, Rubik's cube. <laughs> yeah. Or wood, wood. As well, you can take those. That looks like stuff. tofu. Yep, it does. If you want to make your own furniture, you can take the same idea. It's just a bunch of materials. Tofu is pretty good, actually. <laughs> so you can take them and put them into here into like a capsule. There's uh, there's a lot of primitive shapes you can use, like a wall and floor or a podium. This could be used as like you can mix this. And then yeah. only K here, which is yeah, it's all yeah, it's in a li weird little decimal thing. That's the reason why I don't like it very much. <coughs> uh, I just make a plane and put it into Blender. I follow my grid system as well, so the grid here, it would kind of correlate to. Go away, I clone. Go away, Blender. Go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> so let's see. Did I put a grid in? Nah, it's not. Wait, what's this? Oh, bake animation. Interesting. All right, so we go with preference, and then show the grid. This is a stupid joke, but where do you get, uh, where do you get your, um, no, I, I forgot. What I was gonna say crap. Um, <laughs> fucked <I was> up. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh shit, you fucked up. <laughs> what were we gonna do? See, you see how it falls with this, and yep, obviously it's three hundred. So zero, and then just like that. Oh, cool! By three hundred, then obviously you put your little texture in, which uh, well, let's just put in one of the real illusion textures. So we put something like concrete in, and uh, then suddenly. Oh, nice! And then you want to replicate it. You hit, you hold down control. Yeah. And fix it, and then. Oh, so you can hands. add more. You can yeah. add more of the same. Mm-hmm. That's like cool. that. 
300. As long as you follow the 300 map. Uh, like this is actually pretty cool. It's seamless too. Always look for seamless tiles. Yep. Yeah. So it wouldn't produce this really weird bump. But so far, I don't think I see it. And yeah, if you follow it to make a good window, you can actually build a lot. I'll probably add more stones or something like that, or add something they can add <coughs> in so they can make it as much detail as they can. <coughs> because I don't think I see any building pieces for free. Can you also make walls too with that? Oh, this? Yeah, you can yeah. actually make walls. I built an entire building in Synergy. Oh, that's cool. For that, I'll show you. This is the one. No. Alright, I think people are kind of <laughs> expecting me to do all go all these sites here. That's a cover turbo squid. Also, there's blend swap, but there's a weird licensing with blend swap. Oh, really? Which is a uh, blender design. Well, like you can't, um, you can't sell your stuff with blend swap. I don't think you can. Oh, bummer. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's have a look. But yeah, this building here was built like this in that same way I showed you. Uh. Looks kind of like a real building. Yeah. Here they fix it in, and then more control. Is that kind of looks like one of, one of the buildings from the movies? Um. Yeah, the alleyway set. Yeah, the alleyway set. Oh, yeah, sets. that's it. That's what I was trying to do. I think there was one <laughs> angle here. Uh, bricks you can get from Turbo Squid. Some of them, if you really want the really nice ones. There's some yeah. really good ones that are free. Seamless. Um, this one was like five bucks, I think. I don't remember. I have enough textures to sink a ship. Because <laughs> I, I hoard a lot, that's all. Ben is a hoarder. As you can tell, all of that stuff here. Well, that's cool. You got a lot of stuff to play with. Yep, let's see. Oh, yeah, Borderlands 2. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ripped Borderlands stuff out once. And then an English pub. Ooh, that's another one I could work on. This is like, uh, this is pretty much one of those old projects I did. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What is it? It's an English pub. Oh, cool. So, is it the Winchester? <laughs> it looks like the Winchester, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have a cold pint and wait for all this to blow off her. <laughs> that took a lot of detail. Um, but I might actually include little corner pieces like this and this. They can add in and texture and do whatever they want with it. I'll probably... Actually, let me build it now. Okay. I'll build it. I'll show you how easy this stuff is. Here, this will be a fun <laughs> gift. My gift to everybody here. You're a gift to everybody. I'm like Oprah. Everyone's here is getting that cloud six. Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen. Look but... under your chairs. Everybody's getting iClone six. <laughs> Check under your chairs for that serial key. Let's see, <laughs> point two five. God damn it. And then. Check the insides of your buttholes. <laughs> it's a box copy of Sony Vegas Pro 13. <laughs> you just have to use laxatives to get it out. <laughs> Everyone must be like, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> I remember blanking out, then waking up a little sore, but. <laughs> Oh, God. Wait. One, two, five. There we go. And finally... Point one. And then, uh... Point two, five. There we go. And then... I'm going to... And then we can stack it. Stack. So, just like that. Uh, yep. Alright, I'm going to see how tall this thing is. Um, point f dang it, dang, dang it. it, dang it, Bobby. <laughs> point one, there we go. One, two, three, four, perfect. All right, we're good. All right, so I don't think we need, I don't care, people can do whatever they want with it. 
Also, we need to UV map this. Perfect. UV map. And finally, 100. And then import to iClone. Ah, cool. So export, and I'll call this corner piece. So you can um, get anything from like a game or whatever and then put it into Blender. If I can find then... the code, I can put it in. Oh, that's cool. It's just, it's. Like I said, I I did a lot with Fallout New Vegas. I used to build yeah. entire rebuild entire sets and put them into into the uh, iClone, but I can't do that. I don't want to do that anymore. It takes way too much time. Oh, I hear yeah, yeah. There's also a website called XNA Lara, which uh, it's a yep. DeviantArt site which does that. Oh yeah, yeah DeviantArt. It's an it's a DeviantArt page that's devoted to game rips. Cool. But like I said, you gotta be really careful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Copyrights. Copyright. Cop. And you don't want somebody knocking at your door. Uh, hello? You use this illegally? <laughs> <laughs> you had no, Jack, sir. You had Jack in the Box <laughs> bang Wendy from Wendy's? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Excuse me, sir. We were in the middle of uh, solving a murder case, but we understand you've been using models without permission. Yeah, you're going down. We're taking it downtown. You're going to jail for five years. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to get that bad, but it's just like you. It's it's not. It's taking a risk that I don't want to play. That nobody wants to play. Yeah. So let's see how how good this thing works. I'm gonna put it in. Let's see corner piece. Okay, this works so far. Hey, wait. And then. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. I think it was if I did my calculation right, it would be up to 15. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep, it works. Yay! Now right. you can increase the size if you want and go up to 30. Ooh. Oh. So let's put it up to 60. And if I am correct, we can actually make another one that goes up to 630. Cool. Yep, it works. Awesome. Right. And then you can let's see zero, and then sixty. So something like this, and then you can Ooh. just duplicate over and over and over and oh, over yeah. again <laughs> with the multi-duplicate tool. Wow. And then we can put in our little walls and windows, and put in our little Jenga. Wall. Well, hey, I didn't know this thing snapped to the grid. Wow, that's a pain in the ass I'm going to get rid of. Negative 150. And then finally, zero. So, yeah, it looks like this. Ooh, hey. Nice. And it's free. I'll release it for free and everybody can be happy. Or you can build a little mini wall set here, which, or you can just use this if you're lazy. So you can do the little wall thing. Yeah. Put it to yep. zero. Just as like a base wall or something like that. Yeah. Yep. Inc decrease the size. Decrease here. Then move it in. And there we go. Nice. Now imagine this with right. window, with that window set we did, and <laughs> you made yourself a pretty convincing set. Woo, yeah. That did not cost anything. And with the right textures, that wouldn't even cost a single dime. Yep. I'll release that here. Cool. I wonder if there's anything else I should release. Hmm. Ah, what the heck. Let's just put in little corner pieces here. Maybe a basket. Let's do that here. Let's build that as well. Since I'm... So maybe like stuff like this. Okay. I'll release it on the forums pretty shortly. Oh, you're so nice. I am a generous god. Yeah. He's releasing it for free. Socialist. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the burn, baby. Feel the burn. <laughs> Feel what the burn. What we wanna pay. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We're that stupid. <laughs> there we go. Feel the burn. <laughs> there we go. So, 
something like this, and then. Uh, so let's just let's scale this down to a reasonable level here, and then maybe put this a little more. Eh, you know what? Let's make it just you know just for old time's sake, something like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh shit! Not like. Did that. you make a boo boo? Yeah, I did something. I made it look ugly. Oh, you made it look ugly. Oh. There we go, and there we go. Yeah, let's do the top, because what the heck. We need to make it look nice. Mm, need to make it look presentable. There we go. Need to make it look presentable for prom. <laughs> We're taking this little baby to the wallflower here. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. So you put this into your window. Feel the burn. <laughs> After this, we'll go back to Grove Street, Joe. I don't think those people ever learned a lesson. <laughs> I don't think they ever did. Yeah. Cool. Well, the we're playing, Yeah, we, we're playing GTA 5, and I bought myself an insurgent. Oh, that's funny. Alrighty, now 100, and export to OBJ, and then we'll call this window planter. Any more things for buildings that I should do? Uh, what about skyscrapers? Oh, skyscrapers is easy. Yeah. I mean, like like little building decals. And oh, okay. Stuff. Uh, you could try uh, like I don't know, a restaurant or um. Oh, not a restaurant, but like little decal buildings, like uh, oh. like corner pieces or plants. Oh, I I see what you mean. I yeah. don't know. Um. Uh, uh, I can't think of one at the moment. Like this. Sorry. There we go. Window. And done. Let's see. Window. Enter. Not that, but you can retexture all this. You can put your own textures in. Hopefully, this will be of some help for some people. Let's see. So we have seven pieces. You know what? Screw it. Let's build a window. Window. Awesome. So how big was my window? To the window. To the wall. To the window. I'm going to start again. So when was the... Uh, how big is my window? I forgot. I have to look here. Oh, I called the cheap set one. That's... <laughs> Ridge. No, that's not it. It's not a gun. Import OBJ. Uh, shoot, I think it was O2. I think I'm gonna have a look. Okay. Son of a. Oh, there it is. I was about to swear up a storm. There we Son go. Son of a. There we go. <laughs> and if they're correct, yep. All right, let's just build our window here. Quick little window. I'll just add this because somebody would probably be asking me about it. Yeah. So one. Get in the armored car. <laughs> okay. Point two five. Oh crap! Wait a second. Point one six seven. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw this. Here's what we're gonna do. Because I'm not a very bright man. You don't say. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Let's do this with the edge, and then we'll <coughs> right there. So it should lock on. And then while we're at it, this will lock on, and this will lock on, and then finally here, and here. Whoops. Whoops. I'm gonna turn this off here. All right, and get in. Hey, we're comps. There we are. Here uh -huh. and here and S <laughs> and Y and here and and here. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should make this just a little bigger.
Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Alrighty. In fact, let's just, uh... Let's go ahead since we're not... Alright. Alright, hi, you last. Yeah, the dryer's going. La Alright, welcome to Alaska, folks. I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> polar bears are. Oh, jeez. Polar bears are not danger. They're just unlucky. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> drill, baby, drill, baby, drill. Oh. Alrighty. Where was she when I was in office? <laughs> oh, Joe got the <laughs> reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I call MILF a mother I'd like to filibuster. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, crap. She supported Trump. There we go. Okay, now we're getting Mom, somewhere. Mom, I like to filibuster. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So this will be a window frame. All right. Put now we're getting... Oh, <laughs> and I got it, Luna. Son of a gun! Why are you doing this? <laughs> Son of a. Oh, <laughs> that's the reason why. Here you go, Luna. All right, we need Have to a do bottle. it. Be happy. There we go. That's uh, Dad's watching the haunting again. The haunting. Yeah, on Destination America. Oh, cool. There we go. <laughs> That's our window. Yeah, there it is. That same episode I've seen over a dozen times. And then you can just insert a plane with the with the no opacity map with a glass. I think they have a map. You can easily do it. So here's a window. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad for a free window. Looks pretty nice for a window. All right, we'll import this to 100, and then I'll call it window. Window is material groups. There we go. Uh-oh, I think I put it in a bad place. Uh-oh. I put it in my documents. Whoopsie! That, huh. that means I gotta search all the way of this stuff here. You can you can just like go and do a search and then like look for your uh, uh your your window. stuff what you made. And we're done with the window. Cool. Yay, it's in. Woo Let's see. Should we do one more other thing here? Or sure. I need to think. What can we do? What can we do? You can make a. Uh, a door. Um, a door frame? Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, there's already a door frame somewhere for the iClone thing, so they could show. Okay. Them. Yeah. Needed. Yeah, they can easily just put a glass here. Uh, I wish somebody on stream chat would say something. <laughs> but nobody, I don't think anybody's here today. Yeah. Hey, everybody! Uh,. <laughs> Just the one person listening. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah, there's one person. I think there's only one person watching this now. Hey! Shout out, shout out to all the ninjas and watching the stream chat. Thanks. Shout out to all the cool people that are listening. Well, I blame my detractors, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's see how this baby looks. Thanks, Machinima. Thanks for the detractors, dummies. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Hey. But uh, yeah, uh, people will watch this later. This thing usually gets like 110 views or so. Uh, 110 <laughs> views, that's awesome. Um, they don't, glad they're not here to watch me complain about it. So yeah, it fits in just <laughs> like that. Sweet. Sweet! I want to see how it's like if you just shove a random texture in. So let's go with maybe like metal or something. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. These people are not going to know what we're talking about. <laughs> Carly Mitchell, Music and Philosophy, featuring the hit single, Ginger Hair Like Me. Oh, ah, here's Chrome. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. 
No. No, not at all. So maybe they paint it uh, like a color, like black or something. It's looking pretty good so far. Let's have a look here. Here. I want to see what happens if you throw in redwood. Actually, that doesn't look. Oh, oh, now I see what the issue is. Hmm. Yeah, that's a strange issue. All right. You understand that, there, uh, Mike? <laughs> no. No. You will. You will someday. Holy crap. Point oh oh five. Point. And I gotta update that page too. There we what, go. What page? Oh, our pizzeria page. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, uh, I saw that you made a page for Silverbank Pizzeria. Yep, that was me. That's good. That's good. Let's see. What else? What's I recently made Ben the av an, an admin. Yeah, that's so awesome. I, I'll say things too. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully that solves. Oh, we forgot to make a rooftop, stupid. Wow, <laughs> dude. Bugged I rooftop can't believe mechanics. you forgot to make rooftops. What are you, an idiot? Apparently <laughs> I am. Wow, dude. Beginner's <laughs> trip. Wow, that's such a beginner's trip. I can see it in the comments. Uh, LOL, idiot. <laughs> Moron. Blocked. <laughs> Lol, hater. Yeah, I'll block him. Trying to give me advice. Lol, hater. <laughs> there we go. Alright, this is a rooftop. And then... This is pretty simple to make. I can read. Sometimes. I can read. Only on Tuesdays. Have you seen that video of that guy playing Kingdom Hearts 2, but he acts like Bill? Yeah. No. Oh. I got an intern to play video games for me because I'm too lazy. And she was drunk. She was getting drunk. In this. Oh, that's funny. She was so shit-faced. It was so funny. Were you paying attention? No. See five, and then finally. Oh shoot! What did I do it as? I think I did it as oh. five, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Well, what, what else is new? Ah, screw it. Hey, five. Wait, did I put it as five? Because I'm not very smart. I'm not a smart man. Let's see. Rough, 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 rough. So, oh, wait, I put it there. Do you pronounce roof? I mean, roof as roof? Rough? Rough, yeah, because <laughs> I'm an idiot. I, I, I say ro the roof. Uh, roof. The roof is on fire. <laughs> oh, I put it as four. Perfect. Yeah. There we go. Right All back. fixed. Fixed it. There we go. You fixed it, yay! Well, maybe I should actually uh, unwrap this as uh, our 90. Our, you know, reset it. There we go. And then cut this as another reset. What are you making right now? Give me making a rooftop. Oh, cool. All right, now we're good. Cause I'm stupid. Forgot to build a rooftop, bug rooftop mechanics. Whoopsie. Roof. Corner. I'll be saying a boot next. A boot. Bye. All right, perfect. <clears throat> All right, let's put this into 3D Exchange. This is not really becoming a. A, a live stream iClone thing. This is just me modeling stuff. Oh yeah. Well, someone. But was. are you still streaming? Yeah, I'm still streaming. Oh cool. So people are gonna see me just do iClone models here. Oh, uh, so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, it's like I'm gonna subscribe to this guy. Oh, by the way, I made 50 subscribers. You nice. have? Yep. That's awesome. So, Wait, I I watch I I watch uh, my I main one. This what? One. The one I'm live streaming on right now. Oh, cool. So I made 50 subscribers. Now I can complain about views. <laughs> Why am I getting any views? Come on, guys. I don't want to be Mr. Views. Come on. Give me views, people. I need the money. <laughs> I'm running off of AdSense, okay? Wait. Oh, wait. I could be off AdSense. 
All right, so we have nine nine things, nine things. <laughs> nine things to give oh. away for free. Nine things Tommy. to give away for free? What is this, Christmas? I'm feeling generous today. Plus, you know, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while because I wanted some a set like this for a long time when I was working with iClone. Yeah. Now that I have the power. And now that you have the technology and the power. And all the perfect uh, blender skills, I guess, to do stuff in We have seconds. the technology. <laughs> yep. Do, 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 do. Wrong show, dumbass. <laughs> You fool! Um, Joey, I'm eating your hand. Shoot, what was this again? Um, 250. What do I look like? Oh, 250. And then this is negative 150. Do you understand that there, uh, Mike? Now. No, well, you will. Seat your pizza, man. Looks like you could use some weight. I thought he made me tap my shot. Yeah, hold on, man. I gotta take this. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Went negative 150, and this will be 300. That oh. actually. Alrighty. Now it's looking like a set. Oh, wow. So we can throw in. Wow, bug, bug computer nah. mechanics, dude. Uh, let's see if there's any rooftops. Where's my building? Ah. Mm, defeat slate. That does. Oh, wow, even maps per pretty. Uh, maps okay, I guess. Shoot, I thought I had it mapped. Wow. Well, counterpick. Ah, well. It, it's not too bad. I'll, I'll leave it as it is. Alright. Alright. But at least the bricks work. At least the mapping does work somewhat. Like, uh, oh, that's good. You can put this in here. You just gotta flip it around so you use this little tool here and then two. Two point oh. Oops. Two. And two. And there we go. Oh, cool. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? We did windows, we did a rooftop, we did uh You mean building related? Yeah, anything building related. Oh, uh, um scaffolding? Um, I think I did scaffolding, didn't I? Uh, I don't know. Oh, ah, well. Wait, did I put my planter in? No, I didn't. <laughs> dumbass. You're a dumbass. <laughs> oh, no, I, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, I did. Uh, one more thing. Um, no, nah, we did 10, we're good. Alrighty, I think that should do it. I'll right. release. I'll release this later on today if anyone wants to play with it. All right. Yeah. There you go. I'll say free stuff to play with. Cool. Okay. <laughs> perfect. All right. Anyone have any final words to say? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Joe, yeah. you have anything to say? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'd, well, I'll be doing another iClone live broadcast, but uh, it will, it won't be till like the tenth year anniversary of TMOA Radio. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna be covering voice acting. Oh, you are. Yep. Oh, that's cool. And where to cast actors? Cause God dang it, I hate text to speech. Stop putting it into your videos. <laughs> text to speech. Join us. Oh my goodness gracious. No. You need that. Yes. I'll show you a site where you can actually hire actors for free. <laughs> that won't cost a dime. I know people have been using 5R, which is pretty good. 
but it's, yeah. it's pretty expensive. But you can actually, there's a site where people will do it for free. Sweet. All righty. That's it. Bye, Bye everybody. Later. See ya. Thanks for watching. And done.